Hello everyone and welcome back! In this lesson we are going to start the process of converting this plain Angular application that we have here that only renders on the client side as usual. We are going to start transforming this application into an Angular Universal server-side rendered application. The first step of this process is to create an Universal Bundle for this application and that's what we are going to cover in this lesson. We are going to be using the Angular CLI for that. Let's then head over here to the terminal and run the following command. We are going to do ng-generate-universal and this is going to scaffold an universal bundle. We need to tell to which client application this universal bundle corresponds to. So we need to pass in the minus minus client project option. In order to determine which name should we pass here, we are going to head over here to our angular.json file and we are going to see that this is the name of our project here under the projects object. We are going to say that we need to generate here an universal bundle that corresponds to this client project. Let's go ahead and execute this command. After a moment this command will have been executed successfully and we will have here a couple of changes in our project. First of all we have here a couple of new files, a server module, we have a main.server.ts file which is a new entry point for our Angular Universal application and we have a new TypeScript configuration file. Let's go ahead and add these files to version control and review the multiple changes that were made to our application. First, if we head over here to our angular.json angular CLI build configuration file, we can see that the main change is that we have here a new build target called server. This build target is for our Angular Universal Course application. So whenever we run this new build target, we are going to be generating here our output to this path here that we are going to rename to dist-server. You can see here that the main entry point of this build is going to be the new main.server.ts file and the build will be executed using the new configuration for the TypeScript compiler. So this build target was the first change made by our Angular CLI command that we have just executed. Now let's have a look here at the main server.ts file. This is the entry point for the new universal bundle. As we can see, we are simply exporting here as the root module of our universal application, the app server module file, which is another new file that was created here. Now, this file here is importing our client root application module and it's adding here server module. This application module is then going to import all the components that we have here. As we can see, this server-side application is the exact same application as the one that we have running here, with the exception that we are passing here server module. Before going over what are the changes introduced by server module, let's go ahead and head over to the terminal and build our Angular Universal application, because at this point we can already produce an Universal Bundle. Let's then head over here to the terminal, we are going to clear here the terminal and we are going to execute this new build target that was introduced here, so the server build target. In order to run it we are going to do ng build, we are going to pass in here the name of our project as specified here in the projects object and we are going to specify which build target do we want to execute, in this case it's the server build target. This command should take a moment to execute but after a while once it's completed we should have here a folder, the dist server folder containing one file called main.js. This is our Angular Universal application bundle. The content of the main.js Universal bundle is very similar to the application that we have here running on the browser, but there is one big difference. It's the rendering layer that is being used internally. So here at the level of the browser we are using the client side rendering layer, which is the default rendering layer of Angular which produces directly DOM elements. Now on the server there is no DOM, on the server we don't have a browser, we have a Node.js process. So instead of having a client-side rendering layer we are going to have a server-side rendering layer that is being swapped out via dependency injection 
and that server side rendering layer, it's a set of internal Angular injectable services, is going to render our components as plain HTML instead of DOM elements. So that's the HTML that we will be receiving over the wire directly from the server once we have our Angular Universal application up and running. Let's then go ahead and see how can we use the main.js universal bundle file to transform our component tree into plain HTML. We are going to be pre-rendering our Angular Universal application. Before doing that, just a couple of quick side notes. In this course, we are going to be building this bundle a lot as we change our application. So in order to make the process simpler, I would suggest that each time you use this command that you have here available on your package.json, if you do npm run and then build server-app prod, this is going to build the universal bundle each time. So in case of doubt, if you need to quickly build your universal bundle, this is the correct command to execute. Another thing is the correct name of the universal bundle is main.js, like you see here in this video. If you happen to notice that there is a different name for the bundle, please ignore that. The correct name for the universal bundle is main.js. Okay, so with this in place, we are ready to start pre-rendering our Angular application. This is coming right up in the next few lessons.